Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, like we mentioned in the meeting, uh, we're going to be using Sign Up Genius for the avenue that your parents will sign up for time slots for Meet the Teacher for Leap Week. And so this will avoid you having to uh, come in and call parents individually, and this will give them the option to sign up for the time that works best for them. So we're going to be doing this through a site called Sign Up Genius. You find it at signupgenius.com. So your first step is to go there. And then you'll click this button that says create a sign up. Now it will first prompt you to create an account. That's a super easy process. Uh, you just simply put in your first and last name and email address, and then it will send you an email to confirm that that's you. So you go back to your email, click activate, boom, you're set up. So after you have created your account, you'll click create a sign up. When you choose to create a sign up, um, you can give it a title, keep it simple, and just put meet the teacher for these purposes. It will ask you to choose a group. Um, it's got a group that's defaulted for me as parents, but you can uh, add a group and name it parents. Um, if you're doing your first one or, or name the group, whatever you want to do. Um, so it'll ask you to choose that. You can choose to keep this as general or you can make it scheduling since you're going to be doing something for a schedule, either one of those. And then there is an, um, a category here where you can make that say education. And then you'll choose what you want your sign up sheet to actually look like. So there's examples like this and it'll show you with a preview what, is, what it looks like. And you can actually search um, by keyword on here. So if you want to look for ones that are school, you can choose any of these. Now I would not choose the one that has the orange ribbons because those are premium ones that you have to pay for. All of these are free. So let's say I want to use this one that says classroom kids on it and it's got a picture of the kiddos on there. So that'll be what it looks like. And then if that's the one you want to choose, you'll simply click save and continue. After you do that, it's got options for you to select the format for your sign up. The one that I've been using that I do think is the, the simplest one is sort by slot. Um, that's for when people can kind of look at all the slots before the day and time and sign up like that. Okay, so I would keep it that way. And so you've got two options here. You can add a slot or you can add dates. Okay, what I've seen done through teachers that have done this that makes the most sense to me is add a single slot that says meet the teacher. Click save and then start adding dates on here. So this will be your date and time. So it pulls up a calendar. So let's say that you want them to start on August the 10th. Okay. I'm going to click that date and start adding time. So down here I have August the 10th. I would probably leave them at about 30 minutes or so. If you're, if you're shooting for them to be 15 to 20 minute meet the teacher meetings, you know, you might want your time slots to be about 30 minutes. That way you've got five minutes in between or so for one set of parents to leave and exit while another one's coming in. Um, just depending on how many kids you have, you may want to make them longer. That's completely up to you and give yourself a little wiggle room in there. Okay. But let's say I'm going to start, well, I'm going to do one from 830 until nine o'clock on those days. Okay. And down here, I can either add another time slot or remove the one I have if I messed up. You don't have to mess with anything with location. Don't worry about that. But when I add another time slot here, and let's say I want another one at 10, and I'll make that one go to 1030. And I want another one that's 1130 until 12 o'clock. Okay, so let's say I want to do that. I can add those and it will save them. I can add another date then. So I can then go in and say, all right, I'm going to go the 10th. Those times you can come the 11th, these. Let's say I don't have as many times available on that day. I can add another date following day and what times I'm available. Add those, 
Okay, so after you've added all of your dates and times of when you're going to be available, okay, you'll click Save and Continue. Then it'll pull up your settings. Okay, so people, this is when people go and sign up, it's going to make them put their name, it's going to make them put their email, leave it for that to be required, okay, and they can put a comment if they need to. There's not really a need for them to do that. Um, I would leave all these preferences just kind of normal for right now. So don't mess with anything like that. You'll just simply click save and continue. Now this will pull up a preview, if it will load, of what it will look like both from a computer and from a phone. Okay, so here's what it would look like when they open the invitation on a phone. So they'll be able to come in, click on these to sign up, from a computer or from a phone, it looks a little bit different. And that's still loading, so it'll take a minute. And they'll come in and pick one of these times, okay? Once it's looking the way you want it, you'll need to click this button that says Publish. And then from there, the only thing that you need to do for this, you don't have to worry about inviting people, okay? Because I'm going to show you what we're doing with that in just a second. This little button that says Copy Link. Copy that link and then go into an email and send me that link. Pull up a new tab with an email and send me that link. Now, here's what we're doing with that link. We're gonna send every single parent this. This gives an explanation of Leap Week, what, they're, um, gonna, what they can expect, right? And we're gonna have a link to every name. Okay, so I've already done that there with Inga. But I'm just going to simply come in, and when you send me that link, I'm going to link it to your name right there. So that then when the parents get this sent to them, they'll be able to just simply find their uh, student's teacher's name. And we're going to send everybody their uh, teachers once that's ready to roll. They'll find their teacher's name, click on the link, and it will pull up times for them to sign up. And when it does that, it's going to send an email confirmation to you. It'll have your name right there. So here's an example of one that's done. So this is Samantha Ellison, who's over at Pottersville now, who student talk with us. So that's her available slots. There's a date. You can put your room number in there for location. That's a good idea. I didn't think about that. So you put your room number in there for location when you make it. And then they'll simply click sign up in one of these slots. Once they sign up, put their name and email, it'll send it to you and you'll know exactly who's coming in and when. So every parent will get this. It'll also have on the back what they need to know about entering the building, exiting the building. We'll have them all come in one way, exit one way. Um, we are going to ask that they wear a mask during the whole visit. Um, adults do in the classroom. Uh, what's to be expected, um, and they'll also have a chance to pay fees as long as they have exact cash or a check that they can give you. Um, so we'll send them every bit of this. It'll all be linked up, but as soon as you make your um, sign-up genius, your sign-up sheet, just simply email me that link so that I can get you squared away, um, and we'll go ahead and send that out to parents as soon as we have all those links in there. Uh, rewind this video if you need to um, and go back and see any steps that you missed. If you run into any issues or you have any problems, um, call me here, email me, and I'll be glad to help out. Thanks.